Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We were five minutes from home doing a decomp in an RV. Nobody has any type of information. We just got the call from the repo company um, that they found this kind of mattress. Found her. Oh, wow. Well, hello, everybody. We we're five minutes from home. Literally, we're right up the road from our office in downtown Ybor doing a decomp in an RV. It's kind of weird because it doesn't smell like a typical decomp. So we don't, nobody has any type of information. We just got the call from the repo company um, that they found this kind of mattress. So we're gonna grab the indicator really quick, make sure that it is a de like we're in here, no respirators, just because we're like, that it smells like an old stagnant, like smoky, smoky RV. So it's not, we don't smell anything other than like stagnant smoke. So we're gonna grab the indicator really quick and spray her up and down and, and make sure that this is in fact an actual biohazard before we suit up and we don't just need to remove them. Just, just basically remove the mattress. One's gonna spray. Yeah. So it in fact is a decomp. It doesn't smell like a decomp, which is the weirdest thing. I mean, we don't even know how old this is, so. I mean, it could just be indicating because it is body fluid that is a year old. You look so happy today. So it's really important because of the different types of jobs and stuff that we do from mold and um, biohazard to just like C. diff and things like that, that we always clean our respirators. I know you guys never see this side. We just take alcohol swabs and we literally do an awesome douching on our respirators just before we put them on. So that way they're fresh and clean. So you can see like, I just take it, go around like this. And then I also go through the inside. This is actually my third one just because they're so small and flimsy and you can see kind of how discolored they are. It's a good practice to get into after your job cleaning them and then just like while you're getting ready to go into your next job and prepping and things like that. Oh no! All done? Done. Oh, perfect. Let's go home. Yeah, let's go home, let's do this. Good. How many flies? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> First time in over life. I've never. Never. <laughs> so, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so for the first time ever in our life, that is all that seeped through. I don't even know how I feel about this. <laughs> oh. Don't cut my arm off. You gonna indicate that? That looks yeah. like urine. Wow. Surprise! So it all just like went one down, one rabbit hole, and then went four. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> what is this stuff? <laughs> Beautiful. So it pretty much went through, this is the only spot, that's where that 
one of what? This. There we go. So it's only indicating just a little bit around this area. And then just pull out. Don't want to lose the tools. It's such a tight space. My claustrophobia is going nuts right now. There is zero indication. Oh, maybe a little bit. Found her. Oh, wow. Pretty sure these are x-rays. We just started to overheat a little bit. It's really hot. So we decided to take a break. We have the top part of the mattress done. But we're starting to overheat just because like it's 78 degrees here right now outside. The trailer's been sitting in the sun, so it's probably like 90 to 100 degrees. Plus then we have our Tyvek suit, so we might have only been in there for 25 minutes. I don't wanna be here. I'm just kidding, I love this. So we're gonna remove, we sanitize the top, the spring. So we're gonna slide this outside so it's not super, super tight corners. And then we'll be able to focus on the plywood as well. move the mattress outside so we could breathe a little bit this is the only spot that's left that's contaminated so it's easier for us since we sanitize the other side to just bring it out here so we can have a little bit more maneuverability we don't have to worry about flipping it back and forth upside down here come here look I'm gonna cut it out because I forgot to wait because my impatience got the best of me and I'm gonna be like I'm just gonna take it and so I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna All done. Okay, we're gonna throw everything else in the. I'm just kidding. No, no. So Juan's gonna grab a bio, uh, a bio bag real quick, so we can put this guy in there, and then ooh, it's crunchy. And then I'm gonna cut this out on camera since I just got yelled at for being impatient. I could clean up a whole big mess that I make. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Ready? Okay. So it's super wet. For those of you that don't like the word moist, like myself. Hard. There's still no idea, like there's still no odor. How long this has actually been sitting for, which is the weirdest thing. It being a repo, I mean, it probably went six months before they found it, since it's an RV. And then um, it's probably been here for a little while. Other than that, we have no idea on anything else. I'd buy it, replace the mattress, it'd be good. I'd live in it. All right, so I was just informed that my nose is broken completely. Like, I don't smell bad things ever. Um, this kids is why you don't do drugs. Um, so, I don't feel like it smells. I don't know if Juan feels like it smells. Hey Juan, do you think it smells inside? He don't think so. So, and his nose is not broken. So, um, I'm gonna stand by my word. Oh my God, you're so, so strong. What is this? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Hi! Ah, you do else? Oh, it's all attached, never mind. Hmm. Not that big of a spot, like this. Yeah. It's gonna take us two seconds if we remember the generator. This is improvised. 
my thing because I forgot the generator. So we have to just improvise. Yeah, that's easy. That's fucking awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the really cool thing with plywood. This is the bottom side of the plywood. There is zero bio. It didn't go all the way through. So what it probably did, it just seeped through the first layer of the plywood and we're completely clean. So the job is completely done. We're gonna go in and we're gonna leave a couple of odor discs that I always have in my job box. And uh, we out of here. Yeah, we good, we good. So before we get all stripped down and everything like that, I just spray all of our chemical, or all of our chemicals. I just spray all of our tools that we've used on the job. That way they have a few minutes to dry. We don't really have to worry about anything. Any sharp objects like this, we put back in the sheath so that way we don't get, get hurt by anything. This is literally what we do on every job at the end of every job. Restock anything that we need. Good thing is today we don't really, we don't need to restock anything. Just unload the bio, lock her up, and then we'll dip to go home and cook some awesome food or probably. Or buy Chinese food. Or buy Chinese food, because <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like Chinese food tonight. <laughs> so. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it guys. On to the next.